Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how you can take a very large audio file and compress it down to a much smaller, faster playing file that's suitable for putting on your website. It's pretty easy to do. Let me show you what I mean. What we're going to do is that we're going to start with the audio file here that I created called outro.wave. Wave is audio file format. Now if you look, you can see the file size is 65 megabytes. That's a pretty good sized file. It'll take a while for it to load and it'll take up a lot of space on the web. Fortunately, we can compress that down to a much smaller file. I'll show you how we do that. We're going to use the free Audacity program and you can download this from the web. And once you have it installed on your computer, all you have to do is click File and then Import and then Audio and then find the file on your computer. Here it is right here. We'll click that and choose Open. And when you open it, it's telling you that it's a good idea to make a copy of the file. And, and that's what you'll want to do. You don't really want to edit the original. You want to make a copy. And that's what we're doing here. So we click OK. And Audacity opens the file and puts it on the timeline. Now, if you haven't already cleaned up the file and reused the noise reduction and the other effects in Audacity, this is a good time to do that. But once you've done all that, what you do next is File, and then Export, and then choose the location where you want to put the file give it a file name and then save as type. Now for the web a good file type is mp3 so we're going to select mp3. Now if you haven't installed the mp3 decoder for Audacity you'll want to do that. It's a free download. And instead of saving it right now click the options button and on options you can see the bitrate mode. If it's a high quality file you'll see the bitrate will be 192 kbs or something like that. If the file that you're wanting to compress is a spoken file you can reduce that bit right down to even 32 kbs to get it smaller. At 32 kbs, the quality will still be there and you'll get a much smaller file. Or you can go to 48. The thing is, you can do this a couple of times to see what works best. Let's start with 48 and we click OK. We like that, so we're going to call this Outro Compressed, just so that we know this is a compressed version of our file, and then Save. And when we save, because this is an mp3 file, we can add things to the metadata. We can add an artist name, track title, album title, year, genre, and comments. Now I'm not going to save anything since this is just a test file. So we click OK. And it does the compression for us. That took about 10 seconds. Now let's go look and see what size the file is. This is the outro compressed file that we just compressed. And look, the file size is now just 2 megabytes. It started out at 65 megabytes and is now down to 2. Well, that's a fairly small file size. We're going to get it even smaller if we need to, but before we do, let's play it and see what it sounds like. Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. You know, recently on my forum, somebody asked how do they create an outro screen. So you can see it sounds really good. There's really been no distortion at all, even though we've compressed the file size such a huge amount. Let's go back and try it again and try even a lower rate. So we do the same thing. File export. We're going to give it outro compressed one. I'm just going to change the name so I know which one I'm working with. Down here on options, I'm going to change the bitrate down to 32. Click OK and then save. Again, it allows us to add meta tags. I'm not going to add anything. I click OK and it starts the compression. Just like before, it takes about 10 seconds. Let's go check that file size. And here's our new one. The file size is one megabyte. We've gone from 65 megabytes down to one and a half megabytes just by doing that compression and if we play it hi i'm bill myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week you know recently on my forums you can see the quality still there not quite as good as the 48 bit rate but still it's small the point is is you can use the free program audacity and you can quickly change the file size again this is work with any audio file format and when you do compress it you probably want to compress it down to mp3 Anyway, I thought you might be interested in this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.